on or what? Let's do it. All right, so aggressive bend, mid bends. Yeah. And I'm already seeing shit we gotta fix over here. Yeah. It kind of looks a little sad right here. <laughs> we'll fix it up. All right, come on. This one says aggressive mid bend. Look at that, it looks like a broomstick. Straight. All right, let's grab these. Check it out, check it out. Oh yeah. So we're gonna dial in his foot controls a little bit. He has some old thrash and pegs and shift arm, but we're gonna, or shifter tip, but we're gonna add the shift arm and we're gonna throw on the linkage. And then uh, Gabe's been needing a fresh set of bars. So he likes the aggressive mid bend bar. We'll unwrap these, you can see, uh, you know, how straight they are compared to our other bars. Come on. There we are. Made in America. You have a pipe cutter? The blade on it. How's my blade? <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. Jack. It's pretty rushed, not gonna lie. <laughs> but uh, we found a new blade, so we'll be all right. All right, so Gabe's handlebars only have one wire going in over to the throttle side. He doesn't even have a clutch side accessory switches on his Harley. He thought he would have a really easy time getting it out, but now he's moving his tank and trying to get to the wire, which is under his seat. Um, I mean, we've only been at it for like 20 minutes, so he's probably trying to get this done in less than an hour, <laughs> is what I'm imagining. We'll see how fast he can do it. Always take photo of your wiring before you take it apart. No matter how many times Gabe's taken his bike apart. And dude, every even these earlier bikes, the years change. Like you could do 96 to 03. Yeah. Even the twin cam ones I had a 2000 02, they changed like the color on some of them. Yeah. So always take photo. What do you like? many bikes and he hasn't had time to switch this setup yet so uh, that's why we're getting these bars in here so don't look at these and think that's thrashing bars no bars have paint right there that way no paint on the throttle side so that your throttle has more room to spin them. sometimes we'll get questions on why our knurls painted over you can see it under the paint when you clamp the bar the bars down in the risers, it bites through the powder coat no matter what. Um, and when you don't do this, that happens. Um, basically, moisture can get under there and start rusting your handlebars. Um, so, so that's exactly why we decided to paint over the knurl. The knurl is still there. When you bite down, it'll get a grab. So the bars are made for throttle by wire. That control unit is a half inch. Uh, wider so this side of the bar is a half inch wider if you're running cable throttle we do have the option of the plug but um, Gabe likes to cut them down so I measured out a half inch and I'll make my mark on the bar right at that half inch mark we'll cut the bar off even it out and then he's gonna cut it down even more Well, people will call and be like, how do you cut your bars down? I'm like, just like a pipe cutter, almost like the same thing. But dude, sometimes people grab with a grinder and it makes it like a bird inch and your, your throttle kit, your throttle grip will get stuck on it and shit like that. Yeah. This cuts it nice and straight. And yeah, it's all like crooked yeah. and shit. This is how much you cut off. <laughs> what did we get? We got an inch and a quarter on this side and three quarters of an inch on this side. And again, we do that because 
This side's made for the throttle by wire, which um, is measured so that the bar has actually the, the keyway that would normally go in there with the electronics. Got a few of those. Gabe's trying to cut every corner he can right now. Trying to cook through this processor. Let's see. Processor. He got here at about 11.15. By the time he came in, it's 12.15. So we're an hour into the job. Is it an hour, is it an hour into a handlebar change? Is that like... Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, he says. Oh, yeah. Little pony gets anything. He only had to worry about six wires. And he still needs a picture. I Listen, told you dude, guys. You're going to do only a cross top, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be hitting the horn button and <laughs> the bike will start. <laughs> this isn't an easy job here, dude. <laughs> That's a wiring job. Where is the, where's the grease and the grime coming Whoa, from dude, a wiring show it, job? Show down here. Get the whole, get the whole thing. There's like two or three tires in there. <laughs> so, so Gabe comes rolling up to the shop right now. Look at his freaking tire he's rolling on. I rolled out Malibu. That was at Neptune's like that. <laughs> and when we get done doing the bars and the linkage and the shift arm, we're gonna ask him to go do wheelies out front. All right, so we're gonna replace his linkage with ours. Check this linkage out. Look at the slop in that. Stock, roached, and it was for sure bent. <laughs> Just a lot. And new, stronger, lighter. This thing's like half the weight, for sure. Lock tight, every time. Every bolt on a Harley, lock tight. Like it? Yeah, it's mad. You don't even need to move it? No, it's mad. I set it in the perfect spot. He didn't need adjustability, but if he did, you can see where the shifter's at. It's super easy. Look at that, just half turn. Look at how much it moves. So I'm gonna put it back to where he had it. Look at that. Blown out. This one, not blown out, solid. That's good stuff. All rubber that fell out of his fender. Look at this. This was on his tire and that is why he has the the, what are they, cords throwing, showing. All right, so Gabe drove out here all the way from New Haven, Connecticut. Bars were a little blown out. Some of his parts were a little bent and blown out and a little rough from all the weather and riding he's been doing. So we put on the uh, thrash and billet shift arm, our adjustable linkage, fresh set of pegs and shifter tip, and a uh, set of our aggressive mid-bend bars. He's dialed, let's go watch him ride the bike a little bit.